I mean, I, this is what I remember from that whiskey tour is whiskey is basically all the same unless you really try and uh, yeah. I guess develop your palate. But hello everyone, welcome to James talking about whiskey. He's very knowledgeable. Yeah, he's drunk it before. I did a, a whiskey tour in Edinburgh what ten years ago, so naturally I basically wrote the book on whiskey. Yep, you wrote a book on whiskey, which says whiskey. Ah, well, I mean, I wrote a book while <laughs> has on whiskey, which <laughs> basically just consisted of on whiskey. Uh, whiskey is nice. This is gross. Hmm. Cool. So we're here in back in hell for the umpteenth time. Uh, so, so far we've been into hell as a result of Olivia Pierce opening it, and we followed her in, I believe that's what happened, into the big column of light. Then we oh, yeah, got, that bit. then we found our way back out again. I'll be honest, I'm a couple episodes behind as the time of this recording, so <laughs> I don't actually know what you've just been doing. Well, I haven't actually released the previous episode whilst we record this one, because I forgot to render it, much like I did the last time I recorded and forgot to render the other one. But this time, when this one goes up, I will have been on holiday. So there's also there's a checkpoint. Sorry to interrupt my chain of thought, but there's a checkpoint that, for walking down. There's the a stairs. checkpoint for walking down, which just, is actually a very challenging set of stairs. Because it's just in case you I went, trip. <laughs> yeah, I went around the houses a few times, just trying to decide whether or not I wanted to uh, even bother. I can see a teleporter and uh, a fight going on. Ow! Yeah, they fight each other. I'm kind of hoping to get three of these jokers lined up from this distance, though. Have you come around to the glory that is the? Is it Gauss or Gauss? Gauss. This is the gas cannon. Yeah. Gauss cannon. When I <laughs> played the game myself, what have I got on here? Hmm. That was basically the only weapon I think I used for the majority of it. I think I'm probably gonna see. I'd like the no look. Gauss cannon here. I want to get these three bastards lined up. Did nice. I get them all? I did. <laughs> mobile siege. <laughs> weapon mastery in the bottom corner. Yeah. Um, yeah, once you get mobile siege, you can move in siege mode. Yeah, it's but it's so it. difficult to get three enemies actually lined up in the first place. Nah, you just use it on the big ones. It takes the head off in one shot. Yeah, but they have to be lined up. So there has to be three enemies for me to kill in a row. Oh, for the, row oh the for the mastery thing, you're right. Yeah, yeah, that what I just did. Like. See, I, um, I think I achieved it pretty much by whoop, mistake. Whoop. Made it through that window. Just because I was so using. So I'm going to sort of scum it up a little bit here and try and get three enemies in a row by going down here. <laughs> <laughs> the good yeah, thing that works. <laughs> nice. The good thing is that it it has such a wide area of effect. Yeah. That even it, if it just passes near someone. I did notice that with the um with the oh heck, there's a pinky. I did notice it with the uh imps that I first did. I'm gonna I'm talking about it. I'm gonna slightly adjust your headphones because I don't think you can hear what I'm saying, because you keep talking over me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I just died because there was a pinky behind me. In my defence, I'm not used to talking to somebody while playing this game. Yeah, well, um, you were also playing it... I played it on, like, baby mode. Super easy <laughs> mode. Yeah. I played it on... You can play this with one hand mode. Not that you'd want to. Also, I well, could just keep... what you're into. Sorry. I, yeah. I just realised <laughs> I could just keep dying here. And just get your mastery. And just get my mastery by these things constantly walking out in front of me. Oh, apparently it's reset my uh, preferences. I do like to be able to glory kill these jokers. Yeah. Stop being up there. You use the assault rifle, or whatever it's called, the heavy rifle, a lot more than I ever did. Well, I I've think... got the zoom-in version of it is super useful. Yeah, I didn't get that. I got the rocket version. Okay. One, two, three times a lady. Yeah, that was six. So I just need to die a few times and do this a few <laughs> times, and then we'll be able to move with that out, which is actually really, really handy because it's basically the heavy sniper rifle of the game. So I'm going to go around and have a look to see if there's any thing. To... I, I need to know where my strategic points are. Oh, there's one. <laughs> the, music, the music's kicked in, so you know some shit's going down. Yeah. Also, Don't... sorry, I'm just finding that I can't actually hear anything in my left ear because you've taken the headphones off of it, which means. Oh, you actually um, use it to figure out where stuff is. Well, I can't hear my weapon. Uh, I was going to wait for them, but they elected not to. No? All right, fine. I'll just kill you both with one shot. <laughs> if I'd waited a little bit longer, I probably could have managed that. But uh, they decided not to cooperate. You can get three now. Nope, never mind. Yeah, but I want the glory kills because I'm about. Oh, this guy is doing science and he's still alive. 
He push 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 up. I find that very rude, honestly. Did that work? No. no. I think he's too he's, tough. Well, you can't shoot him from the front. Yeah. The uh, unfortunately, the, the the shield that they have does actually work against the um, the, the energy weapon, the plasma weapons. Even though I kind of assumed that it wouldn't. It's entirely possible that half of my headphones are just not working. So I'm not getting quite as many game sounds as I would expect to. Yep, 7 out of 10, cool. I'm glad... Oh, that's a point. What I didn't check is, <laughs> while there's a rocket coming at me, kill two barons of hell with one shot. Yeah, you'll be lucky. I mean, I guess that is the point of the you, uh, gas you... rifle at this point. Oh no, wait. Which one's the barons of hell? Are they I mean, the big ones the one with the, the horns? Uh, oh, I'm not sure. I thought the Baron. I totally thought I could jump over these jokers, and apparently I can't. Okay. I've been basically working on the assumption that I can all this time. Oh, sure, do that. Those things also don't necessarily have too many uh, interesting ways of glory killing them. So that's not too much fun. You need to get a certain amount of different glory kills to unlock something, and I forget what. I may have already done it. Oh, <laughs> I think it I... one of the runes. Yeah, I think I might yeah. have already done it. <laughs> I just think put a part of that in another part of that, causing it to explode. You eventually end up with... Like, if you Ooh. get all the upgrades for the runes, I think you end up being able to glory kill from much further away, and in, like, half the time, and you end up just teleporting around the map. I'm vaguely sure that's what I've got right now. Ow! Ooh. Bro! I'll check my runes, because it's been a few days since I played. But I, I definitely remember successful. So spoilers for you, but I'm pretty sure I've upgraded all the rooms that I'm currently using. I pressed space, but it didn't activate the menu item. So today is a drink whiskey when die <laughs> game. Wow, you're gonna get smashed. I might have to send you off for more whiskey. But I mean, I, I've got 15 weapon upgrade points. What? But I'm trying to get this, which means I have to buy it, right? I think I have... Do I have to pay for this? I no, you just do the challenge and you get it. So... I think I talked about this in the last episode, but I don't really care about any of these that I can get. Well, there's um, still... I'm pretty sure there's still another weapon that you can... that you're waiting to get. Really? Wait, hang on. Maybe not. There's no gap. And you can't upgrade the BFG or the... Um, yeah, chainsaw. I might be wrong then. It's been a while since that, I played this. That's it. There's only two things left. And I forget I got um, equipment as well. So I was going to check my runes, actually. Since well, we're go back to your weapon after this. Yeah, so we've got Dazed and Confused. Demon staggers longer, which means we can glory heal them more easily. Yeah, I didn't need. I didn't find that use, uh, useful. Like, when you can do it from further away. I've got the speed and I've got in-flight mobility. So maybe if I change this for the further away one... Um, Wait, what am I looking at? Power. Oh, the equip boost. actually the equipment one was quite useful for me because it just meant once you get the upgrade, you can use your grenades much more. I can do them faster. Yeah, that's the one. But I don't know where the. Is there a further away one? Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't unlocked it. Look. Ah, oh, you missed it. I missed the rune trial. Cadingo Sanctum. And there are actually three more. Yeah. Well, you still got a few more levels to go through. Demons become the, more glory kill friendly. The equipment one's quite useful to get. Uh, this one. one. Because it's effectiveness. That but might be good for the... Um, I have started using the blood grenade. The the grenade that siphons. Yeah, the grenades become quite useful. Use 30 equipment. I mean, I've only got three, but I'm sure I can use them 30 times. So I've actually got it open right now, and I believe it's on middle click. So, in this round of combat, <laughs> we'll actually do it right. So, let's... Uh, these are Isaac dodges. Get this out of this. Put this here. Get rid of this. Blind it. That's a good start. And then... Are there three of them? Three of them? No? Yeah, they're coming. Come on, then. Here, kitty. Here they're it comes. Coming. They're coming. coming around the corner. She'll be coming around the map. Nice. Okay, eight out of ten. <laughs> I need just one shot these in the head. Oh, too many shots. <laughs> I meant one shot as in let them stagger so I can glory kill them, please. Yeah, let me go up here. Nice. 
Oh, I've got Berserk. Nice. <laughs> I've forgotten about this. I did see it on the way in before, yeah. but I've sort of ignored it. Thinking that might be useful later, but whatever. I find these teleporters, and I said this in the episode, they're really cheaply made. Like, the actual graphics of them seem... Like... Mm, I know what you mean. I've seen better in... No, why don't they... Do you remember Unreal Tournament? You want to play that? Get the pinky. Yeah. Um, no, not really. Well, I did, but again, this was like... Because in UT you had the ones years ago. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. In UT you had the ones where you could. It was just a um, a sheet in the air, and you walk through it, and you're somewhere else. You could see through to the other side of the map, sort of through this portal, and you step through it, and there you are. Wait, so it was like an actual portal, like the, from the game portal. Kind of, yeah. It wasn't. They didn't move. I thought that was the whole. Oh right, it was. It was a static image. It wasn't an image. It was literally happening, but you. You couldn't like change it to point somewhere else, right? So it was it wasn't m moving around the world. You couldn't move because I, like I thought cannibal. that was meant to be like revolutionary when Portal did it. Portal did it in a in a manner that you know the player controlled. Right. But not it wasn't that revolutionary. Oh, I tried to throw another siphon grenade. This has turned out to be a very difficult thing. There's two things wrong here, and one of them I'm not actually sure. One um, of them is me. I know. I can. I apologise to anybody else who actually watches this, but. I'm not sure all the game sounds are actually playing because I'm missing a lot of audio feedback. Do you want to try swapping headphones? Because mine are all right. All right. I mean, these are short. Here you go. You might end up pulling them a bit too far because I can usually hear through these ones as well. That's okay. I can. I'm not hearing half of the shots from my assault rifle there. Oh, I couldn't hear that either. <laughs> I'm realising how many sounds I just wasn't hearing. Oh, come on. Serious? Ooh. This ain't working. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. You want, now I have failed to use my death constructively. Also, I didn't really have the opportunity there to not kill that. <laughs> Please let me let me do the thing. So I should say this berserk until there's more dudes to berserkify. Yeah, not a bad idea. Especially since my glory kills are so quick. Not sure if the uh, berserk kills are actually glory kills or if it's just they look like them. But I really hate those. Uh, what are they called? Reapers, I think, or so the the teleporter things. Yeah. Woo! The ones that I used should... to be. They're obviously the uh, rebirth of. Nice. Yes, that was actually free. Now that I've realised how unaligned they can be, this is actually turning out to be quite easy. Yeah. Give me the HP though. There you go. Help. Now we get the. Now we get the thing. How can you not run any faster than this, you crazy man? Be gone. Where did you go? There you are. I don't know if my faster glory kills are actually helping here, but they can't be hurting. Oh, you're not dead. I'm punching you in the face, and you're just ignoring me. Get out of it. Jump through this. Where does it go? Up. Oh, somewhere else. Don't know where I am. Didn't really uh, investigate this area of the map too closely. It is giving me HP for all of these, though. <laughs> Those were the ones that used to annoy me the most. Like the mancubus. Yeah. They just... Towards the end, they just start chucking a lot of them at you, and they are... Kind of bullet sponges. Uh, well, they started I just got, throwing. I just got bored. I just got a bit bored fighting them. Yeah. They weren't that interesting. Oh, fight. we did it. Um, that was the right time to use the berserk. Yeah. They did start increasing the number of ones with the armor on, with the shield. Yeah. So they again, that's just. Belly. It just makes them more of a bullet Which is why I like this, sponge. Like, you can just hit them in the face. It wasn't more interesting. It was just more. It's kind of this style of game, though. I know. Maybe I've been spoiled. Don't get me wrong, I, like, on the in the blind forest. I had a lot of fun with this game, and I I did finish it. It's just this? I definitely got a bit like, all right, come on, close the well. We're running slowly out of stuff to do. I assume that the game continues because well, let's have a look. I'm mostly concerned about the rune trials, and I haven't seen one in such a long time. It's a pretty cool map. Where's that auto map? I guess we'll go down that one. Can I? Is it up there? Yeah, you've still got a fair bit of game to go, from what I remember. That's pretty cool. 
the reason that's pretty cool is that, like, this is the sort of game you expect to be maybe 20 hours of gameplay because there's so much of it, like, um, in in a visual detail sense. Yeah. There's so much stuff that actually making more levels of this is almost inconceivable. And yet here they are, just throwing them at me. I definitely had more fun in the uh, Mars stuff rather than the Hell stuff. I didn't like the Hell levels as much. They just weren't as interesting. I always um, enjoyed the way they actually do these. So, oh, it's right down there. Uh, there's a, you get a lot more freedom for your imagination to run wild when making a hell level, I guess, than when making a... Well, I guess that's the difference. Like, the Mars places felt like places that I was running through, whereas these feel like video game levels. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the difference There's is that... There's nothing wrong with that. It just it wasn't as interesting. <clears throat> because the hell levels are so completely freeform, you end up with video game levels, sure. But the actual visual quality of them, the, the way they're designed... I want to go down there and get that auto map. They are pretty cool. And there's some cool stuff... In the future, don't get me wrong. Um, Just I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of a, a combination there. Nah, cool. Uh, half of it is that you get this opportunity to just do what the hell you Jesus Christ, look at that! What the hell you like with the map like this? I mean, you couldn't do that with a Mars base because you'd have to at least make things look feasible, right? Um, and then on the other hand, there's just the actual like ability to have random. <laughs> I thought I fired it. I was like, do I get an achievement <laughs> for shooting the sky? Um, the thing that always gets me, and I get this in other games, and sometimes in films and stuff as well, where you think, like, what would this be like to to function day to day? And I get it, it's in hell, but yeah. it kind of, it always struck me that these were supposed to be like ancient civilizations. So this was once a functioning place. And if I lived here and every time I wanted to go through that door, I had to trek halfway across the map to touch a skull in a wall and then come back. Yeah, so I wonder, is it actually supposed think, to be a functioning place? I mean, or like... Yeah, because I, I thought there's somewhere, some <laughs> bit of lore that you get that Hell was like it expanding, it was conquering other worlds before the whole Doomslayer thing happened. And so I mean, that this, makes sense. this is another realm that's been absorbed into Hell, kind of like in Mortal Kombat. In that case, I'd expect each one to be more different than they are from each other. Well, I think you're all in the same one when you're in hell. Mind you, I also thought that the Doom Marine Slayer was the original Doom Marine, and that turned out to be completely wrong. But it doesn't mean that... So it's not that there's no merit to that. It's just that if, if hell itself is absorbing these other civilizations, that was really badly handled, um, then you wouldn't necessarily expect them to maintain any integrity. Because it's hell. I suppose, you know, yeah. There's, there's, there's for a, all we know, there's a bunch of ruined stuff that's crumbled away that's solved all these uh, commuting issues. <laughs> yeah, but also it wouldn't it necessarily... It could be a fully functioning tube network, for all we know. It wouldn't necessarily have put them together in the order that it found them. I'm not... Uh, oh, that's a good point, actually. I'm not going to... In fact, the fact that that button even still use, still works for that um, door, more lucky for the Doom guy, right? Why are they even there? Taco, bro. Damn it. That was a good time to have actually <laughs> been able to uh, glory kill it. There's some HP down there. This is an unhelpful level. Oh, jeez. I looked over at can the... You make um, it? Can you make it? No. Looked over at the time. So <laughs> <laughs> like, how long have we been playing? Well, a bit longer now. <laughs> Take a drink for dying. But I do like the aesthetic of the, the hell. Obviously, they get the opportunity to mess around. Yeah, with I mean, that looks cool. Quite but a lot. it feels like they're designed to look cool rather than designed to be places. Yeah, which is why having two completely different zones is great. Yeah, so and it, it's different. not a bad thing. Like, that's just a different design sensibility to the one I prefer. I guess it's like the people... That was pretty fun. I just I like I really like having a sense of place. Like whenever I play an open world game, the first thing I want to do is fill in the map or go all around the edges so at least I know the boundaries. Yeah. Like I'm not very good at feeling like I'm just somewhere random. I don't like feeling lost. Where are these dudes? I guess the designers get to flex a different set of brain muscles. Yeah. When you're making a map that's supposed to look like it used to be a hellscape, uh, is now a hellscape. It's different from uh, a map that used to be a 
working Martian facility. But then again, if you have to design a working Martian facility that has um, protocols in place for demon invasion, you've, you've got yourself a fairly interesting job in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> what designer wouldn't want to? It's just, with, with things like this, I mean, it's slightly different in this game because Hell is treated more like a, an alien dimension rather than literal, like, spiritual Hell. Yeah. Like, no one really talks about souls in a much of a religious sense or anything like that. So if it's just another place that just happens to be hellish and so they've called it hell, all right, fine. Yeah. Quite a lot of the time in fiction you see places that are like, yeah, it's hell or it's heaven. You're like, all right, why does it have corridors and doors? Yeah. Like, why do I have a corporeal body? Yeah. Supernatural is the worst for that. I don't know if you watched the show Supernatural, but initially they had like... Um, the angels were taking people to this place. They were calling it heaven, but it was actually just a room in a warehouse. Yeah. And they were just pretending it was heaven. And then there was another, you know, hell looked a certain way and all this stuff. And now they've just given up on that. And now when they go to heaven, even if it's just angels having the conversation, you know, human characters are not anywhere present. It still just looks like a bunch of corridors in a warehouse. Yeah. Oh, can I go up here for some reason? No. Screw me for trying. Get out of here. And so, yeah, if this was meant to be literal Christian religious hell, why do they have buttons to open doors? I mean, yeah. why that anyway? <laughs> Please let me fall. <laughs> I could see that coming. <laughs> I uh, thought that he was over the nope. rock that I was trying to land on. Or at least I might maintain some momentum. But I'm going to try and get to the next checkpoint before we end this episode. But Fair enough. Still got quite a lot of wisdom. I don't know <laughs> Can I just get my Duke Nukem jetpack out? And... <laughs> like, that's another thing. But actually, this touches onto something I complain about in TV as well. Although in this case, it doesn't quite apply, um, because obviously Duke Nukem is a different franchise. But Doctor Who is a major culprit of doing this thing, where one episode, some cool stuff happens, right, and they solve it with some magical thing that they invent. And sure, you suspend your disbelief that that thing could possibly happen, that the thing that they created could even exist, because you're watching Doctor Who, for goodness sake, right? Yep. But then another episode would be solved with the same thing they invented in a previous episode, but they've forgotten that they have it. Right. Or they just literally never mention it again. Yeah. Like, it happened in a different universe. Like, every single episode is independent of each other. Which is fine if you want to do that. Much like Sort of like James Bond. Every single James Bond <laughs> is basically independent because we keep changing James Bond. And he's got to be like 60 years old by now yeah. and can't look like <laughs> Pierce Brosnan him, or whoever's playing him. Um, and in, in a world like this, it's hard to fathom that they couldn't invent a jetpack. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got a double jump, right? Exactly. Presumably that is harder to engineer than a straight up jetpack. Oh, hello. Is this my chance to do two bounds of hell at once? Or did I just not kill him? How are you not dead? Let's talk about this. Let's be friends. Is this like Isaac, where if you're jumping you don't get an explosion? <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, and the trouble with that in, in Doctor Who is they keep upping the stakes. So when the stakes are so high that you know the whole universe is going to end, They've got to come up with a pretty powerful way to solve that, yeah. but then completely forget about it because now next time a Dalek shows up, you can just destroy all the Daleks the exact same way that you just did to destroy all the Daleks because yeah. now you know how to destroy all the Daleks. Yeah, there is a Dalek be gone button. They've invented the I win button, so every time they need it, they just press it. Yeah. I mean, he does literally have a time machine. Like, he could win everything all the time easily, but, you know, they write in little bits like. Well, not always. You're not allowed to. Like, other people have time machines too. Yeah, fair enough. Let's just uh, end that one. <laughs> Sick of that fight. <laughs> Move on. How much gas have we got? Quite a lot of gas. Do you know what I haven't been using? It's the uh, chain gun. Which mm. I really am. I, I'm enjoying it now that I've discovered I can... Um, the mobile turret is a lot better than I thought it was. Oh, is that where you get the three? Yeah, it opens up into several pieces. Yeah, that's pretty nuts when you are able to unload with that. But I uh, assume that the concept of mobile turret is that you... It was similar to the gas gun, right? Right. 
in that once it's deployed, you couldn't move. I mean, I know it's called a mobile turret. Uh, it's right there in the name, but it's mobile because I can move it around, and then it's a turret because I have to stop. Can I go down there, or do I have to go a different way? Maybe that way. There's all these places that I could be going, but I don't know if I should be going up or down. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, you want to go eventually down to the left where you just look to the big space. Yeah, eventually. I mean, I'm kind of liking that Ooh, it doesn't tell cool. you. Yeah. See, that's another, like... I don't think I stopped Where do you think that, that would have come from? All these little things. There's no way a civilization was put together in this order. Yeah. There's big gaps between it. They're all floating as well. Now that you've said it, it seems quite obvious. Yeah. But it didn't occur it's to me a, the first time. It's sort of a corruption thing. If you see what I mean. Like, yeah. Hell breathes this corruption. Like in Tron. Tron 2. Remember that? No. That's another one I should play on the channel, actually. Ooh. Dankeschön. Wait, what do you mean checkpoint reached? So that goes back round now to that big area you could have jumped down to. Well, I said we get to the next checkpoint in this episode, and I have fulfilled my uh, self-professed destiny. So, kind of uh, one shot this bastard. Say one shot. Took several shots, but none of them hit, and that's the one that counted. Uh, and then say thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me, James. Yeah. Say words. Uh, words. I mean, so thank you for joining me, and then you go, you're welcome, or something like that. Uh, and I hope I'll remember you that for next time. Join me in the next episode. Again, I probably had a big hiatus again for people watching this because I've been on holiday. Mm, very nice. I thought it was finishing. Um, and I'm going to press escape there before that starts. Thank yeah. you for watching this episode. James, I hope you enjoyed joining me. And will you join me for the next episode, which we're going to record right now? No. Okay. James, can be <laughs> silent for the next episode. Uh, yep. And I hope that I enjoyed my holiday. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. James, say bye. Bye. <laughs> Drink right, a mouthful of whiskey. So that was a bit of a croaky bye. <laughs>